Today we're working on this 2000 Dodge Cummins 5.9 liter and we're going to be replacing the accelerator pedal position sensor or the APPS for short that's found underneath this cover. Now to start the first thing we're going to want to do is disconnect the batteries make sure we don't have any power going to the electrical connections and then after that really this cover is only held on by two connections two little grommets. You can use a screwdriver or a pick to easily drive those out and once we get those out, this cover will come right off and we can show you the next steps in the process of working on this accelerator pedal position sensor. Now that we have our cover off, we're gonna to need to remove both of our linkages that are held onto the APPS or the accelerator pedal position sensor. They're actually not that hard to remove. So the easiest way to do the one in the back here is just pull against the linkage, press up on these, this plastic piece and that'll come right off. Fairly easy. We can just set that to the side now. Now on this particular linkage here, it doesn't really want to pop off as easy, but you can take anything from a thin screwdriver, or I'm using a pick here, get it in between the metal and the housing, and just kind of back and forth wedge it, and that'll pop right off just like the other one. So just as easy as that was, we have both linkages removed, now we have six bolts on the outside of this housing that we need to remove. And that's actually going to be the only things holding on this APPS. And once we have those six bolts out, we can pull that right off, get our new unit and put it on. So now that we have our six bolts removed, you can see the entire assembly just kind of sits freely at this point. Now we're going to spin it over to the back side here. And that's where we're going to find our electrical connection. And it's pretty easy. We just hold down on the end of that tab and the connector will actually just break free. And there's that. So we'll let that sit to the side and we want to look at the back as well. And the reason for that is there are times where you can find just this module available to replace. You don't want to go that route though. This module is actually clocked one way and one way only to work properly. And unfortunately, if you unbolt this, and you move this around, it can actually be bolted back down in multiple um, ways, in multiple scenarios, but they may not fit the actual pattern that it should be in based on what it was bolted on in the first place for this vehicle. So when you replace this APPS, just the module is not enough. You need to replace the entire unit, which is a much easier process anyway. Now, once you get the electrical connection removed, it's just as easy as taking you a pair of pliers, getting them attached to the linkage grommet here, and just work it out. All you do is squeeze and push, and you'll see that linkage just popped right out. We're gonna do the same thing with the left side linkage, and once they're both free, we can take this whole complete assembly, move it to the side, get our new assembly, and put it back on in the reverse order. And hopefully now, you have a better understanding of what it takes to replace an APPS on this 2005.9 liter Dodge Cummins.